Hello, my name is Howard Saucier. I'm a member of First Presbyterian Church in Rockwall, Texas. Today we're here for a time for young disciples. Today we will be videoing a godly place story. So all of my godly play friends, do you remember how we enter into godly play? We enter quietly and calmly because we are here to worship God. Are you ready? Let's start. The word of the Lord came to Jonah. Arise, go to the great city of Nineveh, and tell the people there they have been bad. They need to change and become good. Now a prophet is someone who comes so close to God, and God comes so close to them, that they know what God is telling them to do, and they go do it. So Jonah went the other way. He boarded a boat bound for Tarshish in Spain. That's about as far as he could get from Nineveh. Suddenly, a big storm blew up. The sea became very rough. The boat was being rocked. The crew was worried. They each started to pray to their own God. They started to throw things overboard to lighten the boat so it wouldn't sink. Now, a prophet is someone who helps people discover the best thing to do in an emergency. But Jonah, he took a nap. The crew of the boat started looking for him and they found him asleep in the bottom of the boat. The captain told him he needed to call on his God to save them. Jonah just went up on deck and had a seat. The storm continued, rocking the boat, water was spraying over. The crew decided God was angry at somebody on the boat. They were going to draw lots to figure out who it was so they could throw them over. Now, prophet is someone who can speak for the one true God. Jonah didn't say anything. Finally, they asked Jonah, who does he worship? What does he believe? And Jonah told them he worships God, the one true God, the creator of heaven and earth, of land and of sea. The sailors knew Jonah was the problem. God was angry with him because it looks like he's trying to flee and hide from God. The storm became even worse. Everybody was so worried now. Jonah told them, throw me in. The storm will stop. So they threw him in. All was suddenly quiet. The sea became calm. Now, a prophet is someone who shows people how to go to God by their words and deeds. Jonah hit the water and just started to sink. But everyone left else on the boat as soon as the storm stopped. They began to pray to the one true God. But Jonah just started sinking, and as he sank, a great fish came and swallowed him. For three days and three nights, Jonah was in the belly of the whale. 
Then he began to pray. The fish started feeling kind of strange. It started getting sick and sicker and sicker. Finally, it went to shore and spit Jonah out onto dry land. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Arise, go to the great city of Nineveh. Tell the people there they have been bad. They need to change and become good. This time, Jonah went to Nineveh. He cried out to the people, they have been bad. God commands them to change and become good, or God will, will destroy their city, all of the people, and everything they own. Now, a prophet is someone who is overjoyed when people who are bad become good. Jonah, not so much. The people heard God's call, and they changed. They were sorry for the way they acted. They became good. Even the king and queen were sorry, and they became good. The animals in the fields were sorry, and they all became good, too. God was happy and did not destroy the city or the people and everything they owned. Jonah was angry. He went out and sat on a hill in the sun. And he sulked. He was mad because he didn't get his way. He wanted God to destroy the city. These weren't even God's people. God asked him, why are you angry? He didn't say anything. God caused a plant to grow to shake Jonah as he sat on the hill in the sun. One night, God sent a worm to attack the plant. It withered and died. The next morning, the sun rose. A hot wind blew. And the sun beat down on Jonah's head until he was faint. He was so hot. Now he was angry that the plant died. God asked him, why are you angry about the plant? He said, I'm so angry, I could just die. Jonah was still hoping to get his way. God said, you pity the plant, but you did nothing. You didn't grow the plant. You didn't care for the plant. Shouldn't I pity Nineveh? and all of the people, and all of their belongings. I wonder, what would Jonah have said next? What would he have done? I wonder what part of the story you liked the best. I wonder do we need all of the parts of the story and still have enough? Thank you for joining me today as we hear the story of Jonah, the backward prophet. And until we get to meet again, be good, behave, be kind to one another, and God bless you. Goodbye.